Okay, so we're at Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Fest, the first one, and we have a little bit of a first too. This is <laughs> <laughs> the first not, public not unveiling. The first public video of the Voron V24. Oh, so first off, this thing is huge, but there's a story behind this. Yes. This, this isn't exactly new. No. So uh, what is the history of the V24? Uh, this brand was built in 2017 originally as per spec for a company in uh, Minneapolis. Uh, so I built it uh, as part of MZ Bot still. Um, they wanted a 24 by 24 inch bed. That's the spec for the, the printer. It was all metal. Um, it ran Marlin and um, they got use out of it and basically ended up in back of a warehouse. Uh, eventually got taken out of the warehouse and given to one of the employees that used to work there that actually ran the machine and he traded it for uh, V2.4 to me. So it ended up all the way back in California um, in pretty rough shape um, and the idea was well someday I'm gonna rebuild it and redo it um, and then Steve said hey, I'm getting a van and driving to Colorado. You want to bring a V24? And I said, yes, but let me uh, redo it first. So this is the revision two, R2 of the printer. So uh, completely rebuilt. So what's different? What was, what's different from the original V24? So this is R2? Yes. So R2. So what's different with R2 versus uh, the original? It now has ball screws instead of lead screws, uh, independent carriages on ball joints on each four corners. Uh, all the motors are NEMA 23s. Um, it has four individual beds underneath. So it's four so individual it's 300 millimeter beds? Yes. Okay. So this is, how many watts is the beds when they're all running? If you turn it all, all at the same time, it's 2,600 watts. Okay, so that's why you stagger it though, yes. right? So there's a macro, so each bed will turn on, heat up before the next one. Will. Correct. Um, it's a hybrid metal tool head, which is tap. Um, and so it's a stealth burner. A stealth burner tap. Okay. And um, most of the internals are actually milled aluminum. Okay. It's kind of hard to see because it's it's a lot of like almost inlay. So there is a bunch of machine components on here, right? Uh, most most of it most of it are machine components. Yes. Okay. So it's not as uh, DIY friendly as a yeah, traditional. Yeah, yeah, it's true. But we have enough suppliers now to where that's not as big of an issue. It's less DIY in the sense that you can't do it at home. But we're also working on ways for you to be able to DIY that. Because everything here, you like this. These are just Masumi extrusions. Yes. You still have printed parts in some areas. Yeah. There's just now machine brackets and whatnot. Correct, yes. So for electronics, uh, we have a nice little backpack here. Yes, original, by the way, original electronics were all on the bottom and you had to tip the 200 something dollar, uh, uh, pound printer to service them. <laughs> so now we have electronics. So what are we looking at right here? Uh, this is, uh, that's the 48 volt for the motors. That's a 24 volt for the rest of everything else. You have uh, four SSRs for the beds. Um, Octopus Pro with uh, the 5160s, easy. So they're high volts? Yeah, that's a 48 volt drivers and then Raspberry Pi. This, so, is, this was my last Raspberry Pi 4. <laughs> <laughs> and, and all this is heat sunk to a metal plate, it looks like, too. Yes, so this is a giant heat sink that the, the fans basically blow over. Nice, so this is actually... And all of this stuff has thermal compound in the bottom. So anyone who's built a Voron, these electronics are just pretty... It's, not really out of the ordinary. No, it's off the shelf. Uh, uh, most of it is off the shelf and just scaled up a bit. Awesome. Basically. So let's go back to the front here. So what is it? What's the enclosure? All acrylic or plexi? And uh, These are the original panels. These are um, acrylic. Uh, this is uh, quarter inch plexiglass. Then the doors open. We are running, it's an aluminum clipper so, screen. This is actually a piece of original deck panel. I just milled it out of the original deck panel. Hey, and we do have a nice 24 inch spring steel flex plate Courtesy on there Courtesy of too. Fabrico. Yeah. Hector went out of his way to do that for me. Thank you. Awesome. Um, so we're doing a little test print right now. It's just starting, but how fast can this thing move? Cause you got high volt 5160s, you got NEMA 23s. Correct. How much will this we move? We just actually pushed it to the, the found, actually found the limits uh, about an hour ago. Um, in X and Y, I can do a thousand millimeters travel in diagonal moves, depending on which diagonal, I can do 800. And that's at what acceleration? 1,000. 1,000, okay. Or 1,000 1, millimeters a second. 
at what Excel though? 1,000 millimeters per second and 10,000 10, millimeters Excel. per second per second. Okay. Yes. So 1,000 at 10K Excel. Yes. Awesome. Sweet. Now, the question is, because I've put out some... One more thing that, it, oh. that the original one didn't have. There are two 120 millimeter blowers with ducting that goes in the back into those two uh, carbon canisters to circulate the air and kind of filter out the fumes. So it's basically, it's got built-in dual Nevermore. It's Nevermore on steroids. Oh, awesome. And that's going to basically turn this into a giant convection oven too. Correct. Ooh. And then the belts... Nine millimeter belts. Nine mil belts that's, everywhere. That's original. Okay. And the, the bearings are original to it. Okay. And you are running a CAN bus tool head. So we do have the drag yep. chain. Yes. So you, you stuck with drag chains instead of going umbilical because that is a CAN bus tool head. Correct. Why is that? Uh, the, originally I did have um, umbilical going to it. Uh, umbilical kept getting snagged because it's just too long. Okay. And the wires are heavy. So I opted to go with chains. Awesome. It's just safer. So. I've already put some teasers out, some people already asking. If somebody wanted to build one and they had room in their garage, because this is not fitting through any right. doorways in a house, what's the plan? Is this We're shooting for December. December? This okay. is, we're not releasing exactly this machine. This is a motion platform test. Okay. Um, there will be a machine come December that we're not disclosing details on yet. Um, you'll be able to see it in December. And then I think the release is either December or January of next year. Awesome, so that's yep. something to look forward to. For sure. And for those wondering, um, it can print a stealth printer front face at 400% scale in under a day if you happen to need to do that because <laughs> that, that's what that did earlier. It's true. So, it's true. so awesome. So if you get a chance, come out to Rocky Mountain Rep Rep Fest. You can see this in person. Um, it's kind of big, so I don't know if it's going to be making a lot of travels. But, yeah, uh, it's hard to travel. It's, it's hard to transport. Yeah, it, it, it's kind of big, so. Yeah. So thank you, Max, for bringing this out and the rest of the Voron team here. Uh, shout out to Fabrico for sponsoring uh, my trip here to Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Fest this year. Link for them in the description below. If you're looking for anything 3D printing related, parts, kits, whatever, check them out. And uh, if you get a chance to stop by and check out this monster, it's, uh, you can fit in it. And I've, uh, I've already proven that. So Voron V24, Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Fest 2023.